Our beaches aren't invincible. Over the last few decades, our beaches have been hit by a number of significant storm events. On the Gold Coast, sand is naturally transported north along our beaches with the help of waves, currents and tides, and this is how our beaches get their sand. But when a storm hits, sand can be eroded from our beaches and moved offshore, forming a storm bar. This bar will gradually return to the beach during calmer weather and start to build up the beach again. However, this sand doesn't always return by natural processes before the next storm. Consequently, this leaves sections of our beaches vulnerable to repeated erosion during storms, which impacts on the amenity of the beach and the adjacent properties. Sometimes we need to step in and help protect our beaches from future storms. And the city of Gold Coast has been working on behalf of the community to do this. The Gold Coast beaches will benefit from a major nourishment project happening between May and October 2017 to increase the volume of sand available along vulnerable sections of our coastline at Palm Beach and along northern Gold Coast beaches from Miami to Main Beach to buffer against future storms and coastal erosion. A lot of work has gone on behind the scenes to inform the project design, such as the study of coastal data captured through wave buoys, beach surveys, camera monitoring and computer modelling. Surf amenity will be considered as part of the sand placement program. The city is using a design with nature approach. The solution involves a specialised dredge vessel that will transfer sand from deeper water offshore and place this sand around the wave breaking zone. This nearshore beach nourishment technique has a proven successful history on Gold Coast beaches. The sand will be collected from our offshore reserves and distributed around the wave breaking zone by bottom dumping or rainbowing. Bottom dumping is where the collected sand is deposited into the nourishment area by opening doors in the hull of the vessel. Rainbowing is where the sand is projected from the bow of the vessel as a sand water mixture to enable the sand to be placed close to the wave breaking zone. You may see this happening throughout the course of the project. Now here's the part that might cause some confusion. Sand will be deposited close to the coastline around the wave breaking zone. It won't be placed directly on the beach. That means the extra sand won't be seen on the beaches straight away. But when the project is complete and the sand has been deposited, it will move with the coast natural processes, adding extra supply to our beaches and adding to the natural buffer against storms. All necessary environmental approvals have been obtained from the state and Commonwealth Government. The Gold Coast Nourishment Project will not only increase shoreline protection against erosion and future high energy weather events, but will also help to ensure our beaches are in great condition for the 2018 Commonwealth Games. The City of Gold Coast understands the value of its iconic beaches. We're working to ensure they're healthy and protected from coastal hazards so that everyone can enjoy a beach experience.